Hello! Hey, uh, artificial intelligence has made it inside of Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if you've used Midjourney or ChatGPT to make images, you can now do it inside of Illustrator, like uh, these examples here. Um, yeah, let's jump in and I'll show you how they're made. All right, my name is Dan Scott. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor and Chief Course Creator at BringYourOwnLaptop.com. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to be super awesome with AI in Adobe Illustrator. This is called Text to Vector, where we type stuff in and it generates stuff for us automatically. None of this was drawn by me. It was all drawn by the computer. You can kind of tell because a lot of the foxes have five legs. But the visual styles is great, and it's a great starting point for creativity in our drawing. So I want to get into that now and early. Let's jump in. All right, let's create a new document. Okay, it doesn't matter which one it is. I'm going to use Art and Illustration in 1920 by 1080. I like that size just to spice things up. And it's actually not spicy at all. It's just a rectangle. Okay, so you've got a blank document. We're going to start with a blank one in this case to do this tutorial. So make sure it's an empty one. And what we're going to do is you want to be able to see the properties panel. And there is the text to vector graphics. I find it's a bit messy inside of here. And I'm scared they're going to move it. So we're going to go to Window. And we're going to open up the... Uh, text to vector graphic panel all on its own. Same thing, I just find it's uh, I don't know, just a little clearer when it's like this. We're going to close that down so it's a little bit tidier. Okay, and I'm going to type, is remember the last thing I typed. I've already done this video once and it didn't go very well. So I'm doing it again to be clearer, Dan. Okay, so I'm going to have nothing selected. I'm going to be on subject and I'm going to go to, I'm typing in chili pepper because it kind of matches the brand that I'm working on and I'm going to hit generate. And what ends up happening is magic. This is being generated by artificial intelligence. Okay, and uh, it's pretty brilliant. Okay, what you can do is, I've just clicked off in the background. I can click back on it and go in three. By default, it gives you three variations. One, two, three, okay, for you to pick from. And it doesn't matter whether you're clicking it over here in the little thumbnails, or you can hit this little arrow here to go through them. It doesn't matter. You can type in this prompt here or in this contextual taskbar prompt. It's up to you whether you like doing it up there or in here. Now, the next thing that you're going to have to learn as a designer, as a creative, is kind of how to prompt this thing to get it to do what you want. So that can be really tricky. I'm still finding it quite frustrating. Like if I want it to be less colorful, I want it to be like more of a, I'm going to say line art. Okay, so I want it to be kind of like, I'm trying to work out the language in my head of like, is this what I want? So this is going to be a big part of what we learn together as kind of generative AI comes along and makes all these things is like how to get it to do what I want. And that is exactly not what I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to have to think, all right, so I want black and white sketch. And like the cool thing about this is that it's, it's pretty amazing what it makes and it's at its worst point ever. It's only going to get better. So I'm being quite prescriptive and it has gone and got closer to where I want to go. That's kind of cool. One of the things with um, text to vector is that if you have something already selected or anything on your artboard and not a blank document, can you see under here under style and settings, if I say, and um, that's on by default, it says match active artboard. What you might find is if you've got stuff already on there, it's going to try and match the style and color. Okay, so turn that off. Okay, if you have got something else on, and what will happen is when you generate something new, it will generate like a fresh go at it, not try and mimic something that already is there. The other thing is don't be afraid to keep clicking generate to say, actually, give it another go. You'll get not wildly different ones, but it might give you the option that you're looking for. There you go. Cool, huh? It's amazing what it actually makes. The other thing you might do is over here in this, okay, um, like actually let's switch it from subject to icon. The subject's gonna be kind of more of like an illustration style. Icon is gonna give you an icon style. Let's see the difference, okay. It's not huge at the moment. I'm hoping to get like a logo kind of graphic, you know, like an icon for a website. I don't get that. I get kind of something that is very still illustration style. It's pretty good though. I bet you if you're doing it with me, Okay, yours will look completely different. It's amazing how it, um, you know, and I said black and white, that's not black and white. <laughs> it's very monochrome. So let's leave that guy over there. I'm going to have nothing selected and go back up to subject. And you can, it's amazing what you can do. Like, it's kind of like describing a scene. So let's go chili pepper with, this is the one I went. I went chili pepper with fire coming from the top, held by a fox. <laughs> yeah, that's where I ended up, but watch. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cool that is. Oh man. Okay, so it is brilliant at this like illustrative style. Okay, especially when animals involved. 
people not so good at but foxes and flames oh do they not go so well together click on it excellent so there's not what you want okay as awesome as it is you want this kind of like icon style okay now that we've got some basic illustrator skills okay we can go with the direct selection tool actually my toolbar's changed isn't it i've kind of come back i'm going to go back to the basic one I'm doing the advanced course, don't tell anyone, okay? I've come back to do this because it's new. Um, so I'm gonna go to the white arrow, okay? And I'm going to say, I like this color. I'm gonna hold shift and grab that color there and that color there, okay? Well, let's say I don't like that color. When I've got them selected, I can go over to here in my properties panel and kind of down the bottom. Text to vector gets kind of in the way here. I don't like it there. Okay, I like it in its panel. So I've kind of closed it up. So now I can go to my fill color and say, actually, I'm going to pick a different color. Okay, the cool thing is not only can I change the color of this because it's vector, okay, I can use my white arrow and go, actually, I like this bit, but this just needs to come out a bit or actually click on the actual anchor point then. You can see I can say move that around a little bit. We're gonna go through how to do these handles and anchor points later in the course, but I wanted to get this in early because, ah, it's super exciting. And also there is this like, oh, do I need to learn Illustrator if I can just, um, you know, use uh, some of this generative AI stuff to create these vectors and I totally do. Cause if you need to change anything, all needs to be changed. And like this here, it's kind of a chili-ish. I'm not sure what these pearls are doing. Oh, I'll edit it. And then we're straight into learning how to use Illustrator. So it's more of a supportive tool for creatives. Okay, so yeah, it's awesome. I wanted to get in early. And as we go through the course, you'll be able to manipulate the things that it creates more easily. The other cool thing is that uh, I call it generative AI. That's the name in the background. This one's called text to vector. Okay, but this text to vector is using generative AI and that content that it creates, this fox and this uh, chili pepper here is uh, commercially usable, which is super cool. I get to use this for my paid products, for my company. All right, that is going to be it for this one. Uh, we'll do some more artificial intelligence powered illustrator stuff later in the course. But for now, goodbye to you and the spicy fox who's got one, two, three, four, five arms and legs. Or oh, does a fox? No, fox just says five legs. All right, well, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye, mutant fox. All right, let's leave it there for the moment. Um, before we talk about Caleb though, um, quickly, I've got an Illustrator course. If you do want to take your skills a bit further, there's, we cover the tools, tips and tricks, there's quizzes, there's challenges, class projects. It's great fun, we get to hang out more, so check out the link in the description for that. There's an essentials and an advanced course. Who is Caleb? I'm not Caleb. Um, and Caleb is not Caleb. Um, Chovan is his name. And he is a student of the Illustrator course that I'm trying to sell you. Um, he did it and wanted to start his own apparel brand and started doing it, started doing cool illustrations. And I love all the details on this thing. It's such good quality. And he sent me a version of it. I was super happy. There you go. That's who Caleb is. It's Trovan. And I'm Dan. There you go. <laughs> That's the backstory. Uh, you too could join and create your own apparel brand and do cool illustrations. Come join me in the course. All right, that's it. Bye.